everybody. This is Money Mom. How is everyone doing? It is September 1st, which is health update and weight loss, weight gain update. Let's get right into it. For many of you that have been with me a while, you've seen me all different sizes. I've got a lot to tell you. I'm going to try to do it very briefly. First of all, I'm going to tell you about my neck because I get a lot of questions about how long do you have to have this neck brace on? Is your neck still broken? Yes, my neck is still broken, but it is healing. From the, according to the last x-ray, am I in any pain? I am when I do certain things. I am not supposed to be lifting anything heavy. I'm not supposed to be stretching way up high, way down low. I can still do things, and I can actually now take my neck brace off for short periods of time while I'm at home and do some gentle neck movements and exercises that the physical therapist gave me to do. I'm still not sleeping without a neck brace though. I don't go in a car without it or to work. So I'm going to be in this until probably like the second week in October and then I'm slowly veering out of it just for safety. The thing that hurts the most and is the most painful is if I'm laying down and I don't lay flat, I lay propped up. And when I have to get and move up because all that gravity moving up is really, really painful. And you can actually, if you guys were to come behind me and feel behind my head, right over here on the left side versus the right side, you can definitely feel the bone or bump back here that you don't feel over here. So it's still in process of healing, uh, but it is getting better. But it's been taking a long time to heal. It looks like my collarbone, I had a broken collarbone, sternum, and a broken rib. I feel like those are pretty much healed. My collarbone's not 100%, but it's, I would say it's about 85, 90%. So I'm doing good there and I'm getting better and I've had great support from family, friends, and I've had excellent medical care. So thank you. And I've had wonderful support from the YouTube community. The GoFundMe has been fantastic and has helped me pay a lot of medical bills that insurance didn't cover. I'm extremely grateful. So let me just say that. Now onto my weight. You guys have known I've been all different sizes. Uh, the largest I was since I've done YouTube and I've been on YouTube um, was 263. I've been on YouTube five years. My smallest was 185. So when I had the accident, right before the accident, I had gotten up to 235 and then I lost some weight and got down to 227, 228. Since the accident, I have gained weight. Not because of medication, not because of sitting around, simply because I've been snacking a lot, eating a lot, people have brought us a lot of food, and I've just been eating it. Basically, to sum it up, sometimes people want to say, oh, it's medicine, oh, it's because you're sedentary. No, it's because I've been eating too much, simply more calories than what my body needs. So I've given it a lot of thought. I want to share really quickly a diet history. I do want to tell you this. I have lost three pounds in a week. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what I've done, but I do want to tell you some of the things that I've done before. Then I'm going to just share a little bit about where I'm going forward because I'm doing something that I've never done before. So it started off when I was 14. First thing I did, the first few diets was calorie counting. Then it went into the 90s where it was the low fat plan. Anyone remember that? So had to count calories. I ate 1,000 to 1,200 then went to low fat. Then there was a stage where they said, hey, you need to eat several mini meals a day, six to eight meals a day, and I did that. And that seemed to be fine, except that the more often I ate, the more hungry I got. And you know, I did lose weight on all these things, but I didn't keep it off, I gained it back. They say 95% of people gain their weight back. Okay, so low calorie, low fat, uh, next one, mini meals. Okay, and then I've done the Hollywood Juice Fat Diet. I've been on all sorts of diet products, which, you know, helped, and they did help for a while, okay? So I've done that. Then the next was, and I'm going to say modified. I did modified paleo. I say modified because I never say complete because I wasn't 100% strict. I'm going to say 70%. So I did 70% paleo. And then I did low carb slash 70% keto. Now, out of all those plans, just to kind of summarize for you, the one that was the hardest that I disliked the most was calorie counting. 
because it was a thousand to twelve hundred calories a day that was very difficult because I was always angry okay the one that I felt the best on and the healthiest and let me know below if you can guess which one it was was modified paleo the reason why I lost weight slow on it but I ate a lot of fruits and vegetables which gave me a lot of energy it was just really high in carb but it was good carbs but I felt really really good on it because I wasn't eating grains and I just felt fantastic and I, the reason why I say modified is I did eat a smidge of dairy okay just a little bit but that's why I can't say I was hundred percent the one I lost the mo the one that I lost weight the fastest and I had the least amount of hunger and cravings was low carb keto the only thing with that one is it's expensive you have to buy if you stick to wanting to make all these foods with the almond flour and coconut flour it's expensive and it's not sustainable because there's so many things that you can't eat yeah there are things you can do but if you're making all these recipes you need a lot of different ingredients and so um, it's not I didn't feel as good on that the one I felt the best was modified paleo okay um, so those are all the ones and all I know is this I start off good I lose a lot of weight and I even keep much of it off but I never get to my goal weight now the last time I've gotten to goal weights was high school and college besides that I've never completely gotten to any goal weight I get somewhat close maybe like 30 40 30 pounds away 20 pounds away but not close enough and then when I stop seeing results I start slowly veering back to bad habits so I've given it a lot of thought I've been doing a lot of studying and a lot of research and I've read some really good books and I came up with a plan for myself that I'm not ready to share this month but I'm on October 1st um, something that I'm gonna be doing and you may say Dawn it's just another diet it's actually not and no it doesn't require spending any money any products nothing like that um, but I'm still researching and I am still tweaking some things that's why I'm not ready to share but I have lost three pounds which is good I did gain a bunch of weight since the neck brace accident from me overeating part of the problem was snacking and I'll just leave you with this I listened to one video that said you know well this say people used to eat three square meals a day she said part of the reason people are really overweight now is they eat three square meals a day plus they snack all day long which is what I was doing snacking 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 so that's one I will just tell you this little hint that's one thing I'm not doing right now I'm eating enough where I don't have to snack which is also going to be saving me a lot of money um, so but I'll have to be preparing my meals more often October 1st I'll let you know how much more I've lost and what I'm doing and I'll share more about it then at that time so how much do I weigh I weigh right now and this is with neck brace and completely clothed because it's hard for me to take everything off so it's not a totally accurate weight but it's a pretty good guide um, I weigh right now and I lost three pounds I weigh right now 247 which I know is really high it's not my highest and I am gonna get there and I do care about it I'm working on it so I will keep in touch with you guys on October 1st I'm gonna let you know what program I'm doing because I've listened to a program that I'm gonna be doing and then I tweaked some things and created my own program within that so I'll explain it more October 1st also one other thing I want to do and I don't know if I've done this yet I'm shouting out this fabulous YouTube channel and her name is Felicia she's super sweet very encouraging she always writes nice comments on the channel her channel is called happily ever after and it has the word healing in there she's lost a hundred pounds and kept it off she's doing fantastic she's beautiful she's confident and I would love if you would check some of her videos out and let her know money mom sent you so come back October 1st to see what I'm doing and I'll let you guys know more about it then that's all I have to stay for, say for now I love you I appreciate you and like I always say I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video bye bye